Hello and good afternoon to everyone. First of all, my sincere condolences to my sister, Mrs. Idris Devi of Chad, on the untimely passing of her husband. His Excellency President of Zambia, Her Excellency First Lady of Zambia, Excellencies First Lady of Africa, Honorable Ministers of Health, Chairman of MEC, Professor Frank Stangenberg Haverkamp, CEO of MEC Foundation, Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej, distinguished healthcare providers, policymakers, and media. It is my joy to be part of another edition of the MEC Foundation Africa Asia Luminary and to celebrate the fourth anniversary of MEC Foundation. Congratulations, Russia, and your hardworking team. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 has had an unthinkable toll on our lives. We quickly realized that our health systems were simply not ready for a pandemic of such global magnitude. We all know this is by no means the last pandemic. There will be future pandemics, and we have to be prepared. Among other things, we need to build robust health systems. I therefore appreciate our partnership with MEC Foundation to train healthcare professionals in Ghana. Under this partnership, more than 60 healthcare providers have received critical training in the fields of cancer, diabetes, cardiology, endocrinology, respiratory and acute medicines, sexual and reproductive medicines, fertility and embryology. Permit me to provide a few highlights. 12 doctors have, been, have completed their one year diploma in diabetes and 11 in cardiovascular preventive medicines. Again, five doctors have concluded a one year online endocrinology program. Two doctors have also graduated from an oncology fellowship and one is undergoing a master's degree in medical oncology. Additionally, seven candidates have undergone a three-month three -month embryology course with four more enrolled in a master's program. In direct response to the coronavirus pandemic, MEC Foundation is also training some of our doctors in respiratory and acute medicines. I am excited that very soon our partnership with MEC Foundation will cover areas such as psychological therapies, orthopedic trauma science, pediatric, emergency medicine, and advanced surgical practice. Additional areas to be covered are dermatology, neonatal medicine, pain management, psychiatry, urology, rheumatology, internal medicine, and pain management. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, together with MEC Foundation, we were able to launch an inspiring storybook, Make the Right Choice, Stay at Home. We also successfully implemented the Stay at Home Media Recognition Awards. This helped to raise awareness on how to stay physically and mentally healthy during these unsettling times. We look forward to the Mask Up with Care Media Recognition Awards to continue to synthesize our communities. Last year, the MEC Foundation partnered the Rebecca Foundation to produce our TV program, Because I Want to Be. This is a television mentoring program to encourage adolescent girls to stay in school. I'm happy to announce that MEC Foundation has extended their support for another year. We are also working with MEC Foundation on the Educating Linda program and have sponsored 20 high performing girls in their education. I'm extremely grateful to MEC Foundation for their commitment to supporting healthcare systems, women and girls in Ghana and Africa. I also commend them for broadening the discussions on infertility by organizing competitions in fashion, film and journalism. Finally, I would like to appreciate our African governments 
healthcare workers, and all those who continue to work hard to bring our world to normalcy. My prayer is that we will all meet in person for the ninth edition of the Meg Foundation Africa Asia Luminary. I thank you.